uh, Laura Burks, I'm the director of the Research Park here at the University of Illinois, and all of you are the stars tonight. Thanks for being the brightest and smartest students here in the Research Park. Many of you have been nominated by your managers because you're truly impressing them. So thank you for all being incredible, incredible assets to these companies that are here in the Research Park and working your tails off all summer and maybe all year long to be able to come up with new inventions that are making your companies the fabulous places that are really heralded by your employers as, wow, this is an opportunity to connect with the University of Illinois and hopefully creating new technologies that change the future of their businesses as well. So thanks for giving us inspiration from all the stories that were shared. Today we also want to really thank all the managers, the directors of these sites that took the time to write and nominate the students because they care about you and they're really proud of all your accomplishments but it means a lot that they went through the effort to nominate and it means even more that you get through to be selected tonight to be showcased. So we always have lots of different nominations that come in and it's always incredibly difficult to pick. So thank you for the committee that goes through and decides. I'm sorry if you are not one of the students that's being recognized today. I'm sure you're doing incredibly wonderful, gifted things as well. We can only honor so many. There are 800 in the park, and we'd be here for all day if we talked about all the wonderful things that you do. So I want to make a couple of housekeeping things. Um, when we do this, if I announce your name as a finalist, please come to the front of the room with your manager that's also hopefully here as well. I will read a few words about you written by your manager, and you will receive a gift on behalf of the research park. Please remain at the front of the room until all the finalists have been called up. At this point, I will announce the winner of the category to receive an additional award. Winners and their managers can then meet me at the microphone to give short speeches, manager and awardee, if you are the winner in that respective category. But afterwards, all the finalists and the managers for that category can be suited. We will do a picture of your group. And please stay at the end of the event. We'll do one big event uh, photo for all the nominated uh, finalists and award winners. OK? Thanks. So let's do the first category. The first category for the evening is the most outstanding undergraduate intern working in the research park tough competition here. There's something like 600 of you working in the research park. So the finalists for this category go to first Derek Meyer. He is a property and casualty actuarial science intern at State Farm and he is studying actuarial science here at the University of Illinois. And here are some words about Derek. From the lead actuarial analyst David Pajoski at State Farm said, Derek is an extremely hardworking individual, both in his work and his school life. He maintains many extra, extracurriculars, an excellent GPA, and handle, handles the pressures of our internship with his time, management, organization, leadership, and technical skills. He takes every piece of feedback to heart to truly improve upon his own skills, not just for his sake, but to benefit his whole team dynamic. He holds not only himself highly accountable for his projects, but also his team members. Congratulations, Derek. Derek, Derek's not here, but <laughs> no, you're not done yet. We haven't announced the winner yet. Okay. Yeah. I was questioning that to begin with and thinking maybe I'd done something wrong. So. <laughs> okay. The next one will be Avani Patel, the clinical research intern at Photonicare. And she actually is here, and she is actually a student. She is an undergraduate student in bioengineering. And here are some words about Avani from Vice President of Clinical Operations, Brian Dolan. Avani is a humble yet confident person who has great interpersonal skills as well as technical skills. She's ambitious and eager to tackle new things and our trust in her allows us to feel comfortable with her providing continuously bigger and varied project roles. She has a fantastic rapport with our team, collaborators, and others in Enterprise Works, and so we would like to formally recognize her for being the most outstanding student intern Photonicare has ever had. Wow. wow. <laughs> But amongst these fantastic undergraduate students, our winner is Derek Meyer. Derek and David 
are not coming forward for a few words, but maybe somebody wants to say a little bit about Derek. I don't know if that's so David. I'm, I'm or David. Or... <laughs> uh, so Derek couldn't be here today because he's actually interviewing for a full-time job in our corporate headquarters. We hope the best for him, but yeah, it's more important we think than yes. this. Yes, we're going to stay far. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a supervisor for the summer, but Derek has been a tremendous intern for us. He's actually uh, on a team of five, which is actually a very big team for State Farm standards, and he's led very different backgrounds, all the way from freshman through senior, uh, other types of majors. He's, he's an actuarial science major, but he's leading people with statistics, computer <coughs> science backgrounds, etc., uh, to do some pretty heavy predictive modeling work for us. And it's, it's been a very valuable experience getting to know him. We really uh, value having him at State Farm and hope he joins us full time after today. So thank you so much uh, for uh, well, giving him this award. Thank you, State Farm Research and Development. to work with us. She has been so considerate to us that she insisted on having telephone meetings during her night. At the beginning of her project, she thought positively and took the initiative to communicate with us her outstanding and the outstanding plans and projects that she would ensure that her, her work met our scope for the project. She works very conscientiously and responsibly, completes project tasks on time and with high quality, and still insists on reporting her prog prog progress periodically during her vacation. She insisted on updating the progress to us and asked for our comments. This excellent completion of work cannot be separated from um, can't be separated from her active cooperation. So thank you so much for all your hard work. Too. Okay, next. Sorev Yadev from Data Scientist at Country Financial Digilab. I butchered that, right? Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yachting. Here are a few words about Sarov from site director Julia Hart. I, I believe that Sarov deserves the award because he is dedicated, treats people well, and has a high level of integrity. Um, I'm also supposed to say you are getting a Master's of Science in Information Science, and we have a new dean this week as well, so thank you for representing the iSchool. He continually offers to take on more responsibility and works well with all the interns in the DigiLab. He has excellent communication and technical skills, and overall, Sarov has had a huge impact on country financial. Because of this, his outstanding leadership and technical skills, he will be able to provide a large cost savings to the home office on nine data-related initiatives this semester. Way to go. graduate student to be recognized is Noon Rainey Ajus, and she is a front-end intern at InstaRecon. I see you're a wrestler, so... Noon Rainey cannot make it. She's a project for conference. Okay. She's not going to be here. Okay. Well, we'll we're, we have representation, the founder of the company and <laughs> professor at the University of Illinois. InstaRecon is located in the Atkins Building and came out of Enterprise Works Incubator, one of the long-standing companies here in the Research Park. His student is getting a is a master's student in computer science, and here are a few words about Noon Rainey from uh, Your Wrestler. 
She has, been, she has done so much with a great attitude and diligent work ethic. She has been prompt, hardworking, and responsive to criticism, and just generally a pleasure to work with. She hit the ground running when she arrived and has continued productively throughout the summer. She is the deserving of the Most Graduate Student Intern Award because of her self-motivated initiative, productivity, and ingenuity. Congratulations to all our finalists, and thank you to Yoram and to Julia and Tim for making the nominations. And our winner this year is... Sarav Yadikov. And I would like to ask you and Julia to say a few words about your experiences. <laughs> you can probably just talk loudly and it'll come through. And you just gotta hold it close. So Swarov has been a great asset to Country Financial Digital Lab. He is, has outstanding leadership, and as I said earlier, he has led nine projects this um, semester, so that's been terrific. He always comes up with new ideas for ways I can improve processes, and he really works great with our team of green over here, so we're really happy to have him. Thank you. I think uh, Julia has uh, always seen the better of me, and I think I have uh, always performed better. And she just makes it easy to work uh, hard. And I, I, I didn't even realize that I was working so much because uh, <laughs> she, uh, because of her. Uh, I would definitely like to thank my team because uh, all of us are working together. So I, I, I think I don't think this award is just for me, but it's all for the team. Uh, I would like to especially mention uh, Pranali. Uh, who has been uh, on most projects with me and she has been a constant support to me and also Pranay who has, uh, who I think uh, deserves this award as much as me. Well said, and we love the green today. If you can step to the side, I think we're getting a group picture of all of you. Can we get a group picture? We're good? Okay. No, it's fine. I think they got it. Is best entrepreneurial leadership in a startup award. So, a little bit of a different feel. The finalists this year include three of the nominees, and the first is coming from InSpirit IoT. Zafan Chang is a PhD student in electrical and computer engineering, and uh, this PhD student has words from the manager, the senior engineering manager, Azwat Hussein, who said, that you are actively helping others and cultivating a good relationship amongst your teammates. Two of your coworkers discussed the trade-off between accuracy and performance of a DNN model. One of them drew a figure to represent the relationship between the accuracy of a DNN model and performance of his DNN model. Zufan stood up and shared his concerns about that picture. He indicated that this relationship is only valid for a particular case, and in this case, he helped them simplify the task by specifying the performance the floating point operation in a DNN. I have no idea what a DNN is. <laughs> that sounds like you had something really smart to say about that your manager didn't know. What's a DNN? Deep network. Oh, a deep neural network. I did you know a neural network. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Those of you who are smarter than me in the room, I apologize. <laughs> okay, and our next nominee is from Life Boundary. And we have Shoa Yu Meng a lead software engineer at Life Foundry, who I recognize because I see you in the building all the time. <laughs> and he is a master's student in electrical and computer engineering. And here are a few words from the CTO and co-founder, Jin Yang. Um, he works continuously without supervision. He can sort things through. He doesn't comment about others. He can always finish all the assigned tasks in a calmed mind. He's very patient regardless of what he is facing. And I will add that we bring tours around all the time and you're constantly on the spot having to set things up and make your robot work. So yes, that is true. When, when we... When we were inexperienced, he was able to stay very patient even when we were thrown a project we worked on for a full month. It is a very rare personality trait to be able to look forward and discuss how to do it better in the future. His work, is, work ethic is very impressive and benefits both him and the whole team. And our next nominee is from InstaRecon. Yora, welcome back up. <laughs> and this time you actually have your student with you. That's good. And this is a summer engineering intern getting a Master's of Science in Computer Science from the University of Illinois. 
Jugad Singh Lumba, Lumba, and here are a few words. Sorry about that. Here are a few words from him about uh, his work from President and CTO Yoram Bressler. He pursued a solution to a difficult challenge he was assigned to him with great passion. To say it is well deserved is an understatement. He has had great intellectual curiosity and it serves him well. He studied the most relevant literature and sometimes even on his own time. He engaged vividly in technical discussion, holding his own and even with our CTO. The technical leadership that he displayed was at a level I could not have expected of a seasoned employee, a PhD employee, and never expected to receive from an intern. He completed his technical contributions with a strong work ethic and commitment. At times he stayed late to finish up a new model so he could run training, which would take substantial computational resources and time overnight and on the weekend. He has worked hard and accomplished a lot over the summer at InstaRecon. And this year's startup award goes to Shawel Meng. Thank you. First of all, I would like to share my gratefulness to the research cost management team and our company's management team. Uh, without also uh, our whole company. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much. <laughs> so over the past two years, we have been here as a startup. So. Enterprise work incubator incubates our startup and each members in our, in our team as well. So, uh, shall you start started in uh, our company two years ago as a 4.0 GPA from the top program ECE? I'm from ECE, that's why. So, <laughs> and uh, he's a tech, techno, technological genius, right? So, to start with, we ask him something that we think that's complex. He show you find some solution. Oh, show, show us. It's probably get done with the solution. Just put them together. That's how. And then later on, after two years incubation time, and then he become an entrepreneurial leader. So he now leads a couple teams on different important projects and working on them in a very good progress to enable our robot to move robust, reliably to produce better, happier bacteria that can produce more high value chemicals. Thank you. So on that note, because we have three startups, and startups should always be pitching and selling what they do, tell us what each of your startups does. Oh, and if yeah. you want your student to do that, feel free to give them a little bit of recognition as well. Hmm, yeah. So uh, we are life foundry. So we are the foundry that build life, which is micros, uh, bacteria, and etc. So in the in the fermentation space, so the bacteria, they eat corns, they, they grow corns. And then we put the corns and the bacteria in the big fermenter, and then they can produce more high value chemicals. So traditionally, people left, they just do it in a manual way, which, is, which has low throughput, and they pr produce a little bit better bacteria over quite a long time. With us, we are using robotics automation platform to make that progress a hundred times faster. In Spirit IoT. Hello, we're in Spirit IoT. We're an artificial intelligence company, uh, but also an IoT company. And one of the challenges that we have is we take something big like deep neural networks, uh, DNNs, and, <laughs> Sorry. and you know, we need to compress them because we need to we need to think big but work small. So we need to take something big like a neural network that takes a lot of computational intensity, find ways to optimize it and compress it so it can actually fit in a smaller platform. That's one of the things that Zhao Fan was actually very successful at, uh, coming up with a variety of methods that helped our company be successful in the last uh, during the term as, his, as an intern. And um, you know, we're sorry that his internship is going to be up. I'm trying to talk him out of the whole PhD idea, but um, <laughs> I still have a couple more weeks to see if I can convince him. But um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Historicon uh, works on the technology to form images from CT data, computer tomography data. Uh, that is applicable to medical, to security, and to industrial imaging. Uh, we have optimized our solutions over uh, more than 10 years now. They started with an invention at the university, my research group. But we're developing the company here in the research park over about 10 years. Uh, this summer, uh, Jugat got involved in trying to improve the performance even further beyond those optimizations by introducing machine learning technology into this platform. 
and over a very short span of time, over a number of less than uh, three months, has been able to make very significant pro uh, pro progress, which will improve the quality of our product, make it even more competitive. Thank you. Thanks for working on startup companies. It's a lot of work and a lot of risk, but the rewards are there because of the great work of students in many cases that add to the teams. Thanks. Okay, next category. Best Technological Innovation Award. And we have three nominees in this category to present to you today. The first is coming from Country Financial Digital Lab, so more green shirts. <laughs> and this student is a PhD student in civil engineering, Chen Li Chen. And here are a few words about him from site director Julia Hart. His work has had a huge impact on our organization. He has presented poster sessions at three different open houses where members of Country Financial were impressed with his knowledge and depth of understanding and perception of the client and staff needs. Additionally, his work has had a big ROI, important, making money. Industry standard for fraud detection modeling is 10%, and in one semester, his team was able to create a fraud model that reduced it to 0.4% from to 0.4% to from 7.5%. I've definitely heard them brag about this, so I know it's important to them. I believe that he deserves this award because he is dedicated, treats people well, and has a high level of integrity. He works well with all interns in the DigiLab and has an excellent communication and technical skills. And our next nominee is from Syngenta. And this is for Harshit Gupta, data scientist, technology intern at Syngenta. Woohoo! He has a master's in information science, in information management. And here are a few words about him from John Capozo from Syngenta. Harshit successfully created a proof of concept model, and after the success of this POC, an MVP for Syngenta's global data sciences team, this service created an entirely in AWS will lay the foundation of how all of the company's data scientists will work with the latest and greatest data science technologies. Harshit drove change and adoption of data science technology on a global level for the company and across many different parts of the organization. He led and implemented the project entirely on its own, he displayed incredible maturity, tact, technical knowledge, and most importantly, a wonderful ability to communicate. His work ethic, passion, dedication, and curiosity drove the success of the project in ways that were not anticipated for the scope of work of an internship. Fantastic. And the next one that we will nominate is from Abby. And this student is a biomedical innovation researcher at Abby, and it's Ashley or if if Ricky. Or Ruby. <laughs> Sciences, and she's nominated by her site manager, Masha Trenhill. Ashley works diligently to meet the needs of her project, arriving early and staying late as needed to ensure the high quality of information briefs. Each day, she works autonomously while still engaging with other interns in her bustling innovation center that is now the largest employer of interns in the research park. It's pretty crazy over there these days. She does this with positive, can-do attitude. The compiled information in the pathway being proposed by Ashley will be directly considered to determine how many company resources will be allocated for collaborations between neuroscience, oncology, and device development departments. It is the potential to create a whole new interdisciplinary effort that leads to much needed solutions in neuro-oncology. All of these are remarkable accomplishments. And the winner that has been selected for this award is Harshit from Syngenta. So uh, Harshit was given what I thought was a pretty impossible task, especially given some of the challenges and constraints that he faced. We had wanted a, a proof of concept um, in eight weeks with a few bells and whistles. He ended up giving us a, a full-blown proof of concept with things we couldn't have imagined in four weeks. Uh, he did so good, he did user admin and user response and ticketing on his solution. And then another four weeks later, he gave us a minimum viable product. So he exceeded expectations in, in every way we could have we could have thought of. So it was a pleasure to have you. Firstly, I would, uh, I would like to thank John. Uh, so you have this concept of a good cop and a bad cop, right? So he has been... <laughs> Same to me, so I'd uh, like to thank him, uh, my senior management, 
And one thing uh, which I personally observed while working at Syngenta is how much of positive attitude uh, and how much having good faith and assuming good faith in people work wonders. So this is uh, surely being a transform transformation for me uh, as, a, as an internship. I would like to thank John immensely for it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, John. Thank you, Masha. Thank you, Julia, for your nominations of your outstanding students. Our next category is Most Advanced Marketing and Business Development Award. And welcome back up, Masha. You have a PhD student in educational psychology. The Idea Lab summer intern is Sheree Yi. Sheree Yi. and we have been immediately so seamlessly working together. She is wise, she is confident, she is humble, and she is an amazing team player. She is resourceful, she is reliable, her deliverables exceed expectations every time despite extreme circumstances that would derail a seasoned executive. She is creative, technical, and practical. I wish I had all these going. <laughs> she is exceptionally able to combine insights from multiple disciplines to add value. She is the dream intern every leader craves and only exists in fairy tales. But Sherry is real, rare, and so deserving of this wonderful award. <laughs> she became our number one choice as an employee. We were required to wait for visa reasons before hiring her, but did so as soon as she could legally be allowed to work in the US. And from the beginning, she was energetic, quick to understand complex math and, and math concepts, well-versed in business acumen, and a pleasure to work with. Her can-do attitude and willingness to undertake complex problems makes her an ideal employee for any small startup company. Way to go. You previously knew as Agrabol and now Nutrien, and I see we have Paul Miller here who nominated his student who is an associate product owner at Nutrien Ag Solutions. She is an undergraduate student in agriculture engineering. Welcome Mallory Gorman. How many of you know Paul? You know that Paul is hard to please. So this go. is a big thing to get an award recognition from Paul. I and rarely write emails. He rarely writes emails. <laughs> so. Tough critic, and he and you won his praise. Mallory, he says, is a critical team member. She not only can complete critical tasks on time and on schedule, but she can also bridge the science-based world of our work with the business and marketing requirements necessary for the work to proceed. Mallory works hard, quickly, and efficiently. She can handle stressful situations and keep her eye on the team and the team on task. Currently, she is supervising the entire testing team of our platform launch. I would not only trust, I would only trust such an activity to someone who is dedicated to getting the job done correctly and efficiently. Congratulations to all the finalists, and the winner for this year's Most Advanced Marketing and Business Development Award is Mallory Gorman. Mallory and Paul, I'd like to say I'm very happy uh, for Mallory here. Uh, she's been doing amazing work. Uh, she's been doing a lot of work with our sustainability platform. You know, we have one of the, the we have the number one agricultural sustainability platform in the world. And Mallory did a lot of the metrics and other things, not even mentioned in the, the, the first little segment here. And I've been working with her for a number of years, and, and she deserves the, the, the accolades here, as does a lot of people that were nominated. But 
I, I got to say, one of the things that was really interesting is, uh, I don't know if you remember this, but I remember when we were trying to estimate the energy that it takes to uh, uh, take donkeys to deliver barley through long distances uh, for some of the metrics that we were doing globally. And uh, she worked on those projects and she created those metrics and they're all part of the platform. And, and I'm very proud of her work and I'm happy for her work. So, very good. Paul, it's been a pleasure to work with him. Um, it feels like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see Agrible go from Nutri, go from Agrible to Nutrien. Um, so yeah, I've been. I feel like I've got to work with a lot of cool people, learn a lot, gain a lot of new perspectives. So it's been awesome. Thanks, Paul. Thank you, Monica, Helen, and Paul for the nominations of your outstanding employees. Okay, and our next category is. Most Competent and Collaborative Team. This is our last award, and it was an important award that we added because, as all of you know, nothing gets done without a team. And although we just heard a lot of eyes in team of recognized individuals, there are so many teams throughout the park that are interdisciplinary in nature and who do amazing work together that achieves incredible things because you rely on each other, undergrads, grad students, across different disciplines and departments of the university. So we have three teams that have been nominated for this award as finalists, and I'd like to invite them all up one at a time. I will try to read off all the names. The first team is Intellinair Ag and Engineering team. Intellinair, I know I saw some of you guys in the back. Uh, and there are a whole bunch, I'll say, on this team, so I'll try to go through each of them. Uh, but feel free to start yeah, coming up. I'll you know who you up. are, I'm guessing. Uh, the first student is Shin Chen. Chu, who is a PhD student in computer vision research. The next student is Pedro Lialawaldias. Sorry. <laughs> Undergraduate in agriculture engineering. And the next student is Mantik Shu, a master's student in computer science engineering. And the next student is Kyle Automatis, an undergraduate in music. Oh, I like that. Something different entirely. <laughs> There is one student currently enrolled at the university who's getting a math and computer science degree jointly. I had a company here say, I want to find that one student who does something really crazy like that. So anyway, thanks for being a, math, a music student on this team. I got you. Uh, the next student is Kato or Sam uh, Susantamu, an undergraduate in agricultural business, agribusiness. And the next student is Jeremy Jones, an associate student in precision agriculture. The only one you can pronounce is it here. Yes. <laughs> and even Jeremy isn't spelled the way you would expect. <laughs> we strive for uniqueness. Yes, unique team. Here are some words about the se from the senior agronomist Ivan Dozier in the company. Our ag team is essentially the eyes and ears of the rest of our company. Our team has done an amazing job being responsive and putting in the late night and early mornings when they are needed. And coming together as a team, we've been very impressed with their ability to work together. And you may have noticed that the diversity of our team, not only in career paths, but culturally. In order for our company to be successful, our ag team and our engineering team need to work together closely and to have all these skills meshed together to achieve great things. And I was happy to see this part of this team in St. Louis getting featured as one of the startup companies at the Info Ag Conference that I just came up from today. And so did you, I'm guessing, <laughs> right before this. So congratulations to this team's accomplishments at Intellinear. and it's Psionix team. It's their mechanical engineering team. I see some red shirts. You can wait till we get called. Oh, you can <laughs> And the first is Robert Mage, an undergraduate student in mechanical engineering. And Richard Mage, are you related? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Twins. Wow. That's cool. It is a two-for-one deal. I know some twins. Uh, one of you tall Sorry. twins can you push up Car, yeah. back around. <laughs> okay, cool. And the next is Patrick Shelton, an undergraduate in electrical engineering. And next is Gabe Delgado, an undergraduate in industrial design. And next is Deepak Bala, an undergraduate in mechanical engineering. 
You're all here, right? You got it? The whole team? All right, here are some words from the lead engineer, James Austin, about this incredible team. This team goes above and beyond, investing themselves in their work at a high degree, developing creative solutions when they are faced with unexpected challenges, and adopting flexible hours when required for a crunch period or to deal with unanticipated problems. They show passion for the design and development process and the opportunity to apply creativity and learn new methods and techniques. They take the initiative to suggest improvements and innovative approaches whenever the occasion arises. Thank you for all your work at Psionic and developing bionic limbs. Really cool stuff. Come check it out if you've never seen their limbs. Founder back there, I see Adil Akhtar as well, that had the inspiration for the idea. So thank you, Psionic. If you want to step aside, I got one more team. And the next team I see to the side, we have AARP's computer programming team, nominated by Miranda Kemp. And this team includes Mohammed Faiz Patangia, Patangia, and undergraduate, sorry, I what's your name? I'm not doing well. Okay, so Aaron says, Kishal and Mohammed were perfectly professional in every interaction I had with them. They were always punctual and prepared and very respectful of their time. They constantly asked for feedback, which is a sign of maturity in the workplace, and handled questions about their work in a thorough and confident responses. They worked as a team, giving each other the space to ideate and contribute and seem to complement their different personality types. Yay! Woo! Woo! There's a beautiful office to the side of us, and you can see their workspace while you're in this building as well. If you've never checked out the AARP Tech Mus, they have some of the best graphics in the research part, and obviously amazing students too. Okay, so. The winner in this category for the best team of 2019 was selected as the Intellinair Agronomy Team. That's awesome. I'm really glad I didn't lie on the forum when I said I will be here to say a few words. <laughs> we were down in St. Louis and we were like, racing Come back on. to get here, yeah. It was really funny, we were there, um, I was there with the vice president of our company, Greg, who also made it over here. Oh, okay, I guess we can, you guys can move in too. And uh, it was really funny because I said, hey Greg, did you see that our team got nominated for an award? And Greg was like, yeah, I'm really glad my nomination uh, came through. And I said, what do you mean? What do you mean your nomination? I'm the one who nominated him. Turns out we both nominated the team independently of one another and didn't even know it. So. It really speaks to the work that these guys are doing that both their manager and their manager's manager nominated them for an award independently. And I really think it speaks to the value of Research Park just to bring these guys together at Intellinair. One of the things we found is really cool things happen when the agriculture team and the computer team get together and are developing things. And these guys are always striving to be first, whether it's first to finish a project or first to get to the food line. So thank you so much guys for all the work that you do and will continue to do. Okay, we got one. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for the nomination, and of course, this is a unique opportunity, and I think I'm speaking for the whole team, like, not only being here at the research park, this is such a big thing for us, but also, like, uh, being able to work in such an intercultural uh, team gave us so much, like, enrichment to our experience here, so thank you, Alex, thank you, Greg, and Thank you, Erin and Wyatt, that you know that you're always helping and trying to uh, get us in line. Uh, thank you. <laughs>